in the trunk, you're going to need this hook right here. So grab that. And also you're going to need the wheel lock key. Use the hook tool and remove these caps. Just slides in like that. Take the wheel lock key, put that in the lock. And use a 17 millimeter socket. Take that out and take the other lug nuts off. Pull the last one out and then grab the wheel and slide it off. Take these two caliper bolts out. Use a 13 millimeter wrench. If the stud starts spinning, then just use some pliers. Just prevent it from spinning while you take the bolt out. And just take that out. And just grab the caliper. And just slide it out, just like that. Now because of the brake cable, it's kind of going to hold the caliper from falling. You can just put, push it back here a little bit. If you want to, you can use a brake caliper hanger and try to hang it from somewhere, but just make sure there's no tension on the brake hose, which we're good. Take the brake pads off. Take these two caliper bracket bolts out. Use an M14 triple square. And take those bolts out. Now just slide the bracket right off. Take this screw out, use a T30 socket. When you take that out, the rotor should just slide off. If it doesn't, you can use a hammer and just tap on those areas. Just take a wire brush and just clean up any corrosion or rust buildup on the hub surface. Then take some anti-seize. You can either use the brush on or the spray on type. Just give it a nice thin coat. Good. Take the new rotor, take a little brake parts cleaner, and just wash it down, wipe it down with a rag. You can do the same to the other side while you're here. And install the rotor. Line this hole up with the threaded hole. Put the screw back in. And just snug it up. Now you want to clean up the brake caliper bracket. Just take a screwdriver. Take these old pad slides off. Use a wire brush and just clean up the rust right here. Now take a thin coat of brake caliper grease. Take a new pad slide. And install it. Do the same on the other side. And take a thin coat of grease just on the caliper slides. And you can take the pins out. Just slide the boot off. Take some brake parts cleaner. Clean off the pin. If it's extremely corroded, you can take some brake parts cleaner and spray into the caliper bracket. This one's not too bad. And take some grease, grease up the pin. Reinstall it. Make sure the boot attaches and do the same on the other side. Slide the bracket over the rotor. And put the new caliper bracket bolts in. Now 
Now we're going to torque these bolts to 66 foot pounds and then an additional 90 degrees. If you don't have a torque angle meter, do the best you can. You could always mark the socket and turn it an additional quarter turn and that'll get you the 90 degrees you need. Install the brake pads. And slide the caliper over the brake pads. And install the bolts. And with some pliers to hold the stud from spinning, torque these bolts to 25 foot-pounds. Now I'm going to reinstall the wheel. Make sure you have one of the lug bolts and a socket. Put the wheel up. And get the bolt started. Now I'm going to torque the lug bolts to 89 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around and double check. I'm going to take the key off and the cap that is just a circle, use that one over the lock and put the other caps on. And put the key back and also the hook. Nice and slow, make sure you pump the brake pedal. There's gonna be a little bit of an air gap between the piston and the brake pads. And that feels good. Double check your brake fluid level in your master cylinder reservoir. There's a max line right there. Just make sure it's up to that max line. 